Another thing I'd like to add for July 4th is um, another message that I sent to uh, Jesus, which I did not get his you know, confession booth because I haven't gotten in a booth yet, and I waited on everyone else before they would go to the booth. So I have all those questions that everyone else would have before I would go to a booth. You know, sort of like studying Sun Tzu, if I could be diplomatic about the uh, situation where there's um, you know, religion and um, the choices that could be made after studying them all. And not interested in them at first, but, um, you know, being born Catholic, it may be an exception since that may be the reason I was born, DNA and everything could be a small trace. And um, if it is constitutional, you know, that's okay to play. It's a good role play, but it's for real, I think. Um, I just, I think it's okay. It's just, it needs to be a constitutional free speech thing, a tool, and things should not overlap. This pressure should not overlap. This body should learn these techniques, you know, and be able to continue. But I think I'd have to go to a confession booth since I was born Catholic. And if I was in any other religions, then uh, I'd have to deny them just because that's how I was born. And that's what it says on my birth certificate. <sighs> I think. I'm pretty sure it says that on the birth certificate. But either way, you know, I had my... Um, you know, life looked like a piece of pineapple and, um, you know, pizza, it's still food and it could be, I don't know yet if it's unconstitutional, but I mean, for now, I'd say it's constitutional since we can't see anything that is um, physical out of the lighter densities of pressure, which flowers have when they come and go and plants have much easier senses. So it's like they're there for us to be here um, for now. You know, but I think that with help, it would be more constitutional since it would help me instead of not. But I've never really used it or have, but it's a sin to not. You know, and if it piled up that high, I mean, I didn't really want to be religious, but I think that if it was constitutional and I'm allowed to um, do something without ruining everything else I'm doing, then I think it'd be fine. So I did this and I um, posted a couple for my First Amendment speech. Uh, two ways to get in a Catholic booth, you know, before you get into a um, that booth. Um, you know, hope that it's um, probably different, you know, than that. And uh, maybe you, know, you could learn the instructions and know how that works. You know, but basically, you know, I think it's just being a female for um, him. But I mean, I'm sure he would have an answer. You know, I just have to go to the confession box and the preacher, I realize, is actually, you know, supposed to be uh, a conduit for his tool. You know, he is, or us is his tool, or him is our tool, you know, to be used, you know, since, you know, it requires suction in a conversation, looking, you know, closing eyes and opening, and how much pain is there engaged, soft things and touching, and harder thing to touch, or more density, more push or less, something that is not painful, like a bag under an eye with a toothpick, you know, looking like Gandalf, pull it down and then poke the fat, you know, and you can see the math of that and how, you know, if you used it, then you look a lot better. And, you know, it is a lot of, um, if it was used correctly, I think it would be physics and science, but you know, that's basically what my goal would be, is to uh, make that, you know, which is probably the biggest issue in this country, um, something that could be, you know, kind of an international medium as well. You know, people need to know that it's kind of forced, <laughs> you know, but, you know, it's basically, it should not do something that which causes violence and keeping someone there and someone being alive that looks like you is just not constitutional at all even in international law that's just not acceptable you know but American for sure you know and that person should also be a person you need to be a little bit more constitutional with religions and treat a religion more like a person since most people treat that as a person, you know, like when we look away, it looks good here, you know, and that was from that, you know, and it seemed to be scientifically still there and actually keeps me there. I wouldn't want to be like born and come back and die and all that. I just 
want to get to the science where I can say maybe it's not my free speech for me to die. And if I want to have, like, if it was role play and it was really like, you know, binding and all that fun stuff and spells and, you know, safe things, you know, there's got to be some kind of like extreme where you can push a button and say, you know, I don't want to go to the bad extreme, but I want to go to this real extreme right here. And if it was in public in front of all people, that'd be fine. I just want it to be able to something cool, you know, like something that I'd imagine, but real. And how do we get further into that? And would he help me? He would, you know, but yeah, I mean, that's what everyone else has been doing is getting paid to, you know, give themselves to him. You know, I just haven't seen where stuff really did anything. Stuff wasn't any good. <laughs> but I mean, if it was, you know, then I wouldn't be dying, so. I mean, yeah, we'd have to go to confession with one time. I've never been to one. You know, I went to an Islam monastery. I went to, you know, but even then, I mean, is it constitutional for me to hurt, you know, because I don't want a religion, you know? And I get to the science and I realize the science without it is just as much as it at a point. You know, just like how art is, you know, two mathematical X and Y equations can meet. And at that point, you know, they would agree with each other. 